Oh, that's a base hit. Nice yeah. job, Brandon. Nice job. Yeah. No outs, Brandon. Get on the bag. Get on the bag. Get on the bag! Awesome. I will chain you to a pipe in a crawl space if you don't get on the bag! Hey, listen, crybaby! I will downsize your face with a shovel! If you don't get on the bag, now get on that bag! Hey, guys. Guess what? I just got back from a baseball tournament with my son. And before I left, I checked, I was shredded. I came back, I just checked in the mirror. Turns out I'm still shredded. Unbelievable, right? How did I do it? How did I stay shredded while watching my kid play youth sports? I'm gonna tell you in this video with five tips. Tip number one is to plan ahead. Pack a few easy protein items. I'm gonna pack these two Oikos yogurts. I'm also gonna pack 40 grams of protein and my creatine for the day. It's only a one day trip, so it's pretty easy to pack and think ahead for that. So we put 40 grams in here. We can always load up a shaker bottle with this protein and with, you know, some 2% milk or whatever from the store or even some water. And we've got ourselves a quick protein shake. So not a problem if you plan ahead, right? Because on the road, protein's hard to come by. And it tends to come with a lot of sodium things like beef jerky or you know even processed meats and things like that. Yeah, that's it. Plan ahead. Tip number 1. Tip number 1.5. Make sure you bring the food that you prepared to bring. So, we're almost to our destination about 2 hours away from our house and realized that green bag I packed last night, still in the refrigerator back home. So we're gonna call some audibles this weekend. Pop quiz for tip number two. What's more important, seeing your son take a few swings of batting practice or getting your steps in? So he's off there getting some batting practice. I'm wandering around this, I guess, dog training facility indoors. First game's indoors today, which is gonna be pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm walking around getting my steps. You know, six pack abs or few cuts in the batting cage, which is more important. I think we all know which is more important. There it is. Four miles. 44 minutes. If you can't wander off because you're too busy watching your kid because he's playing great, that's all right. There's always a hotel gym. Get you those extra steps you need. <sighs> Tip number three, get a lot of sleep. Everyone knows, key to being shredded, sleep a lot. So that's why I slept a full six hours last night before waking up at 6 a.m. to go to our first game. So here we go. Let's go. <sighs> Just because you're on vacation doesn't mean you get a break from staying hydrated, so. Tip number four is to stay hydrated. Staying hydrated is probably more important when you're on the road because you're gonna eat a lot of stuff that has even more sodium. So yeah, get as much of this water in as possible. After that uh, Taco Bell I had last night, definitely need to hit up some water. So I'm gonna crush this. Obviously in some situations, staying hydrated at a baseball field is a dangerous game. So you gotta know your surroundings. So this is more of a life tip than a shredding tip, but yeah, definitely know where the bathrooms are at all times if you're gonna drink this much water. Ugh. That was bonus pro tip. Uh, so tip four is to stay hydrated and caffeinated. We're here at one of my favorite places to get coffee, Panera Bread. Another thing I can recommend as part of this tip is to chew a lot of gum. So that's good for staying shredded all the time, but you don't hear about it a lot. Chew a lot of gum, fixes that oral fixation, and uh, helps you out. So I'm gonna go get some coffee. Bonus tip, don't eat breakfast. My boy secured a package of at least 500 calories for breakfast, but he needs that because he's playing baseball all day. You know what I mean? 
You're just sitting around all day watching him play baseball. So keep it tight. Tip number five is to just go with the flow, man. So I'm not a doctor, not even a scientist, but I do know that when I'm stressed out, I tend to make poor decisions when it comes to food, when it comes to life. Hell, that's how we got into this whole fatherhood situation in the first place. Hey, Brandon, how dumb do you think I am? <laughs> now get on the bag, damn. So try to avoid stress. Try not to get too high or too low when things don't go your son's way in a, in a given sport, whether it be baseball or whatever. You know, my son had some highlights today. He struck out a couple of times. He made some great plays in the field. You know, there's gonna be ups and downs, but your kid will play another game. He'll have another at bat. He'll have another team. He'll have many, many years to disappoint you on the field. Don't worry about what he did today. All right? You gotta show him that it's not the end of the world. And that's gonna help you stay shredded by keeping your hormones in check, keeping everything sort of even keel so that you can make the right decision when it comes to eating. And you're not binge eating because you're stressed out about how poorly your son played in some baseball tournament. So don't worry about it. Take it easy. And that'll be it. That's five tips to stay shredded. It's worked for me so far today. We're out here having a blast. It's a sunny day. We're getting some sunshine, we're getting some steps and we're getting some reps in the uh, batter's box and on the mound and behind the plate. So fantastic, couldn't ask for a better weekend. And I uh, hope everyone out there is doing great too. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Some videos here on the screen for you to check out. In the meantime, keep it on the DL. Over there. Do it. Look, Joe.